Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. So now, we've done all the heavy lifting. We have our letters, we have our, we're using, we're getting pretty fancy, we're using a generator, we're using our next iteration, we're coming through, we're just knocking all this out. Now, now we may need to be able to take in information and adjust our board, because that's really the point of this. So all right, we know how to take an in input. So move, input, super important. What is the default of input? Let's not say it all together. String, so all right. Enter, move. And let's give an example of the layout that we want. So eg, a5. Now this can be a little overwhelming, so guess what? We're gonna go slow. So all right, so guess what? We need to take our move and put it into a list, right? That's why I made a, made a, made a big deal about that video, why I did that, because we're gonna take this and we're gonna do that. So all right, so now this is two, super important, this is going to be two strings. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be two strings. So, all right, let's just take, okay, okay, five, so move is what? Type of move, it's a list, and then type move zero string. So if I do one here, it's guess what, string. That's important because we're gonna be messing with stuff in a minute. So okay, don't forget that. So all right. I'm on the fence if I should show you a really clunky way to do it or because it's easier to grasp, but I think I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna do this a really, really, really clunky way. And I want it to sink in and then I'm gonna show you the nice, clean, Pythonic way to do it because we're smart enough to do this. So all right. So if move, let's see. So we need to take this and we're gonna check this. If move zero equals a, what I forget, then AR, we're going to mess this up on purpose so we can make sure we sync this in, because what did I say these are? Okay, see if anybody catches this. So the layout is A5. So if um, AR0 then we want to, because that's going to be the second one, zero. So we need to rearrange this. Then this is going to be the number. So if we give one, it's really zero. So it's move one. Hang in with me just for a second. All right, and we'll block this out. So, all right. So I want this one to print out. Okay, so we're gonna go real slow. Guess what, they're all gonna be the same, but we're gonna change one of them. So, all right. Zero. Zero. That. Now let's change it. AR zero zero equals space. So now guess what? Let's print let's print our array for I in print I. Look what I did. I changed it. So if I were to come through and 
comment this out and comment that out. Let's see what I did. So, all right. So, th that is this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is A, B, C, D, E, F. You got it? So, it goes that's the first one, second one, third one. First one, so it goes row, then column, row, then column. So I, we could have done this 5A, but that's not for the user, so we got to put our thinking cap on, and you can do this. So this is, this is the number, this is the letter. You got me? And you can make notes over here. Watch. Number, first, letter, second. That's what we know about making comments. We can do this. So, all right. So, this is the number. This is the letter. Now, this is going to fail. See if anybody figures out why. Ah, not even doing my condition test. Okay. I'm going to do A5. All right. What is my default on my input? What's the default on my input? String. Can I subtract a number from a string? That's what it's telling me. So I've got to wrap this up to let me do some math. Because I put that into a string and I need to convert it to a int. So that's what I did right here. So now I do this and I fix it. So now let's change this one a one so guess what print for i in no my goodness print i and let's see what I did wrong and I left off the most important thing to change what I wanted to change. All right, A1. So now I go through for I in ARR, print I. And there we go. So now, I'm not gonna do this to you. We're smart enough to figure this out. So this is the long her long longhand version. Crap. And you could go through, and I was contemplated making you do an if for each one of these. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. F, not G. But I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm gonna show you the way to check this on all of them. Because again, that's why I did this this shortcut we don't need this now this we do but this we don't let's get rid of this and also we need to we'll leave that there as a reminder we need to put this into a loop to go on and on and on again so all right let's see we need to do play equals true while play all right, and I think I've shown you how to indent, but it's right up here, indent. I don't recommend getting into the whole tabby thing because that can throw you off. Use the tools that you have. And if you really want to get comfortable, it's control um, right bracket and left bracket uh, respectively. So all right, uh, let's see. And it's so, okay. And we go, oh, we didn't, uh, let's fail out of here. We did not actually finish our condition. So, all right, let's bring this over here. And now, so what we need to do, we need to use the skills that we have. So we're gonna change, we have our int, 
we have our move but the second one needs to get a little a little bit more creative remember our index how to do a list we need to use that underscore f that index then we put in here our move zero and I'll explain this so all right let's close this out so this one right here I want you to think about this for a second this one we have to do a subtraction because we're off by one because because Python indexes to zero well guess what we don't have to adjust this one because this is checking a list right here so that was that was the real reason why we did this so now this can work on all of them so all right um, a one and let's see what and I believe I need to move my each time through the list copy so I need to put this here so all right let's touch on this for a minute when I built my first one I ran out of iteration I need to come through and regenerate these numbers every single time that's what that was that's why we're having to do that move right there so all right a if we did this right this is gonna get rid of a1 and let's see what I didn't do it's not in my loop <laughs> look at what I did see what I did there we go let's check this bad boy out uh, let's stop and we also then need to solve a thing to change this so we have an exit strategy sorry it's okay a one boom then let's see if we did this right f6 f6 there we go so okay I think this is a good stopping point next video because this ran quite a bit longer than I was expecting it to so um, those let's see if I can trim this down so all right uh, thanks for watching um, really appreciate it love all the subscriptions subscribers um, thanks for watching and we'll just keep going on this and in a couple videos we'll we'll hide some maybe uh, some X's under here and we'll figure that out and we'll do it together so alright thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell and we'll just keep going thanks guys bye